John B. Saldiva, do solemnly swear that as the United Democratic Party standard bearer for the Belmopan constituency, I will work diligently to bring victory to our United Democratic Party. I pledge to be true and faithful to the principles and ideals of the party. I will uphold the party's constitution and will work hard to the very best of my judgment and ability. So help me God. After the ballots being cast today, 457 went for Mr. Emil Torres, 512 went for Colonel George Lovell, and 901 went for John Salvini. And with that, John Saldiva was officially returned as the UDP standard bearer for Belmopan and is now set to contest the next general elections whenever it is called. For almost two decades, Saldiva had enjoyed the party's endorsement for that constituency, but the former party leader and ex-minister of national security has been at the center of a series of scandals, including a designation by the U.S. Department of State for involvement in significant corruption. But Saldiva showed up on Sunday unshaken by the controversies and instead expressed his confidence that he still enjoyed the support of the voters of Belmopan. You know, after suffering many setbacks in my um, political career, I think this is the, the signal that um, we're back. Talk to us about the machinery, because it's always the preparation that leads to the win. Talk to us about that. Uh, it has been wonderful. We've, we've had a lot of volunteer work. Um, contrary to what some people may think, we don't pay our um, campaigners to work. Our, our campaigners volunteer. They do it because of two things. One, they know the service that I've been providing to their communities, their neighborhoods where they live, and they want us to return to that. And they know the type of person that I am. As a representative, a man to my word, I deliver. I have the compassion for the people. And that's what the people are crying out for. Political pundits say that it is a considerable turnout for a convention, which commenced with a rush of persons filing into queues outside the UB gymnasium. Just before midday, candidate Emil Torres was pumped as his machinery actively brought in those voters. We got our people out there right now just bringing them in. Right now it can only come. No matter what time right now, no rice and beans time. People they want to just come out of church, then they take one leak cool off, they eat the rice and beans. Come one o'clock. We had our head starting at the beginning. So I left the rest. Nobody nice at the market. We the check with change. Retired Colonel George Lovell also threw his hat in the race. He was the CEO in the Ministry of National Security under his opponent John Saldivar. Lovell enjoyed the support of party leader Shine Barrow and believed that Belmopan needed the change he would bring. The numbers were not as impressive as we are seeing it here today and I believe that the people now, the Belmopan Bel voters, are sending a statement, a clear statement to say that, listen, we are prepared to come out here and decide who will be that UDP standard bearer for Belmopan. And I'm feeling good about this because I'm quite certain that you're looking at that person as we speak. <laughs> the poll closed just after 4 p.m. on Sunday and a total of 1,926 votes were cast. The counting began immediately after that. Within an hour, unofficial results declared Saldiver the winner. Feeling vindicated and accomplished, he spoke of the success. It boils down to the love of the people and those people, those politicians who don't understand that won't win elections in the fashion that I do. In your mind, does this terminally put to rest all that has been said about you? Well, that's not for me to decide. It's for others who criticize me to decide to give it up. The people of Belmopan, the people of Belmopan have spoken. So if they still want to march like little Johnny against what everybody else is saying, that's up to them. Defeated, Lovell and Torres exited the gym to congratulate Saldivar. The people have spoken and we have to respect what the people want. This will not just be the end of a George Lovell because there is a whole lot of need that the people have and I have to be behind them. I respect the leader of the party. I respect John Saldivar. He is our standard bearer and I will support him. That's not the way it's supposed to be with a one party. Even though 
John Saliva was victorious today. I mean, he's a seasoned politician. I think credit must also be given to Colonel Lovell and to Mr. Torres, who put up good fights, given the fact that they were political novices, so to speak, in the game. So we applaud them as well. They came out hard and they put out their, their, their best, and I hope to not see the last of them in politics. There were 44 sport ballots. Dwayne Moody for News 5.